finally meet in person after three years of a couple of interviews with Adam yes. a couple of features with him, with Pi, finally meet in person, you know, in person because Pocket connects people. Yeah. And you're heading up the right uh, shoe wear from Pocket. And it's fucking beautiful, look at that. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone does that. You are too green. No, no, I, I actually have one of these as well. Okay, yeah. that's just because you know the press are out. Oh, so you are fancy for the camera. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay, fancy. Greg, right, yes, you are about to hit the stage tonight in like I don't know the ten hours. And the weirdest thing is that you are on a tour with Iron Maiden right now, opening for Maiden, mm -hmm. and this year you are playing. Now you are playing. <laughs> yes, <laughs> uh, <laughs> we call that a deadline. <laughs> so the Iron Maiden is still the headliner, we're playing after the headliner, so we're the deadline. But it's actually, it's a great slot on the festival, we did that last year on two festivals, yeah. because you know, metal audience, they want to party as well, but they don't go to a tent with the DJ to party, they yeah. want to live music. Exactly. So we are kind of like the after party music. This is all, you know, that at Bakken, for example, I usually, I, I try to go to sleep early, and I think, oh, I'm going to sleep early, and then I look at the clock, it's like 3 a.m., yeah. and it's like, I'm the first one to go to sleep on all of them, so everyone is going to be there. Um, is it your first party? No, it's the third, actually. Third? Yeah, but we haven't been here for a while. We, yeah. I think we were booked for 2020, and then the pandemic happened. Everyone, last, yeah. last time we've been here was 2015. It's mm -hmm. quite a while ago. And uh, in the same year we did the uh, Full Metal Cruise, mm -hmm. so it's kind of like it's the, the third Wacken and also we had the one one Wacken big on the ship, so yeah. yeah, that's fucking awesome. We, we know the experience. Did you have this feeling that you might actually get cancelled this year again? Yes, yes, uh, until yesterday night I really wasn't sure because, you know, you hear so many things and you read stuff from the press and you talk with people here from, from the festival until like, okay, you know, backstage, there's more like concrete ground and stuff, it's not so muddy, but is it going to happen or not? And then actually, yeah, our booker yesterday told us that he has bands here, everything is working. Yeah. And I mean, look, now it's sunny, it's, it's a... It's, I feel like I need it in tunes now. <laughs> it's, it's not going to rain today. It's fucking off. So I, I feel so sorry for 35,000 people that travel from all over the world, but what? What, 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 what will you do? It's, I, it's, I'll be honest with you, I drove from Ukraine here with yeah. special permission. So I was driving here and texting the organizers like, guys, tell me if it's not going to happen because I'll just return home, because, yeah. uh, right? But uh, thank God everything's happening. With all due respect, I know that a lot of people are pissed and everything, but the organizers actually did everything they did. When I came here, there were a like gazillion tractors trying to, you know, pull the bars. I mean, if, if you're pissed, who do you want to be? Yeah, exactly. It's not like, like it's, it's no one's fault. They, exactly. you, you can't do more. You know, it's it's still it, it, in the middle of nowhere, and if everything turns to mud because of so much rain, it, it, the things you can do are very much little. What you can do is freaking stop global warming. So do recycling, bitches. <laughs> that would kind of help. Yeah, a little bit. But uh, this bucket is nothing like a, a regular bucket, uh, bucket, right? I mean, it's. Uh, because of the amount of people, because of the actual mud, you know, in order for you to get from point A to point B, um, usually it takes five minutes, it takes 25 minutes here because you're just stuck in the freaking map mud all the time. So what do you expect from the audience, from your fans who are going to be watching you? Do you think it's going to be different type of show or is still going to... I can't really see it. You know, we haven't been here for eight years and we have never played at night time. We never played one of the huge stages. We always played like on the Buckingham stage, which is like a small one. Uh, we did that twice. So the first time for us playing on the huge infield the wall. I don't know. We the main on stages, yeah. yeah. One of the main stages. Yeah. One of the main stages. So actually, I do not expect anything, uh -huh. but I'm, I'm pretty sure that people would still like to party tonight. Yeah, absolutely. Party is definitely, is definitely something you guys are known for. I remember talking to Pai right after your surprise album came out. Yeah. And, uh, and uh, it was crazy. It was crazy, the reaction of the fans. And I think that, you know, especially with you going to Eurovision, yeah. you know, it has done it, even though you didn't win it. But then being on tour with Maiden twice, you know, like this is the most important. There's so many people knowing us at the moment. Yeah. So it's like, yeah. How's the tour in Maiden? It's, it's, it's impressive, but I, I, I tell this to every person I ask, but you know, the most impressive thing isn't the size of the stages or the stadiums or arenas, it's, it's the people. Mm -hmm. It's 
such, such lovely people in the band and also the crew. They're also polite and down to earth, nice and welcoming, and making us feel like part of the family. It's the best experience. It's, it's just people you can really look up to. This is why we are on top. Because yes. in order to get on top, you don't have to be an asshole. You have to be a normal person who understands you, that. You know, it's, it, it's very interesting. The, the day of people, when you meet like one of those huge stars, yeah. doesn't matter if it's like actors or musicians, 95% are really, really like very nice. Yes. Like extraordinarily yeah. nice. All the rest of the, the other 5% are like total assholes. <laughs> it doesn't seem to be something in between. Yeah. I think there's only two ways to the top. Yeah. I've never seen like some okay person. <laughs> They're either like extremely nice yeah. or it's like these five percent of motherfuckers. So it's like it's very interesting. Yeah. But I I think that it's always be you better need to be among those ninety five percent that can have people shaking your hand and they not spitting you back, you know, after afterwards. Well hopefully you guys will be, you know, at the same size as me. You know, it's like you these guys are such great role models. You look at them and you're like, okay. This is how it works. This is how you, you you should treat other people, treat your crew, and this is what we try all the time through mm -hmm. all these years. But we have like five people on the crew, or now it's ten, or sometimes twelve, or so, and not one hundred. And you you look at these people having been for nearly fifty years, and like yeah, that's that's how you do it. And uh, when you look at their crew, some of them are there for like 30, 40 years. The Killer Crew is known among the hair metal community for being one of the one of the most loyal ones. It's about the crews. Yeah. So do you get to hang out with the band themselves also? Yeah, no, yeah sometimes. So yeah. Like, but, but most of them are like very limited in time. They come short before the show, they have other appointments, like right. yeah. you know, but, but uh, we had the chance to meet all of them mm -hmm. and uh, you know with some you have more contact, with some you have less. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, we, we see them every night. I talk to Steve every night. Mm -hmm. And uh, I have no idea how he does playing football, playing British Lion, and playing fucking Iron Maiden, sometimes on the same day. <laughs> well, it's just like, you know, it's, um, if you live healthy and if you don't mix up rock and roll with like drugs and whatever, you know, it's like, some people think if you want to be a rock star, what you have to do is like take the biggest amount of drugs and just be an asshole. Not you have to keep yourself fit for the job. You have to respect your job. You have to respect the people that actually pay money yeah. to see you on stage Absolutely. and give them a good show. So you have a responsibility to actually present your very best to them. And this is what they do. They are all older than 60 years old. Look at them on stage. Yeah. It, it doesn't look and like Nigga just suffered a freaking stroke a um, couple of months ago and started operations. And this is dedication, this is how you treat your parents, this is how you treat your family. And uh, I'm uh, really excited for you guys to be getting on to the next level. Because you guys, and last time we spoke uh, with you, versus like three years ago, it was a completely different band. Yeah. Uh, and it was, uh, I mean, you were already on your yeah, way to the door. It's like we, we, we've grown fucking. Lot with the, like, the last one and a half years, yeah. like it's, it's crazy. Yeah, yeah. and uh, unfortunately, you guys were supposed to play the Final Mister Festival in New yeah. but it got cancelled. But this year, we actually were able to do it. A very limited Final Mister to raise funds, and uh, a lot of people know that you were on my channel. Actually, asked me like, uh, "Hey, do we expect more of the loss next year?" And uh, we, we we will come as soon as there's. Is, as this war yeah. has stopped. Because, you know, it's like we, we have families, and I cannot tell my family, hey, I'm going to a country where actually an active war yeah. is raging. I, I, that's my private responsibility. Yeah. So, as soon as this war, war is over, Ukraine will be the first country to Thank you. All right, it was Lord of Law, and they are about to hit the stage tonight at Bakken, and I'm excited to watch them. Thank you. And friends, stay strong. Our hearts are the best. Thank you.